Okay, so how do you perform oral sex on a woman? Well, the most important thing is to do it. Now, when we're talking about heterosexual couples or coupling, I find that women often complain that she's giving oral sex to him, but he's not returning the favor. And that's not okay. First of all, only 30% of women orgasm with intercourse. And those women who do have gotten lots of foreplay. Okay, and the rest of the women who reach orgasm uh, are doing so through clitoral stimulation more often than not through oral sex, if not manual stimulation. So oral sex is super important for a woman's sexual arousal, pleasure, and orgasm. And it's something really important for women to understand that they deserve, you know? That's a whole other video I'm gonna have to do is helping women understand that receiving pleasure that way is really good for them. But in the meantime, let's talk about the specifics of how to perform oral sex. So if you've seen my anatomy videos or read any of my books, hopefully you have, you know where all the different parts are on a woman's genitals. Now the mistake that I find a lot of men make, once again in heterosexual relationships who aren't in a woman's body and don't understand this, is that they, you know, for guys, and I've said this to you before probably, for guys, you know, there are two kinds of foreplay before intercourse, having their penis touched and waiting to have their penis touched. So, you know, they're ready to have oral sex, uh, you know, and a, and a mouth on their penis very quickly. Women, you gotta build up to it. So like men are like a microwave oven, women are like that slow burning stove. So that means that you don't wanna just go right to her genitals, manually or orally. You wanna work your way down, you wanna, take your time, you wanna be teasing, you wanna brush by the genitals with your mouth or with your hands or whatever before you go down there, okay? And then you can take your time going down there, kiss or lick or whatever around her inner thighs, around her outer labia, maybe brush by, maybe gently blow there, although don't blow in her genitals when she's pregnant because that can cause an embolism, but if she's not pregnant, you can blow and visit it, then go away and then visit it again, right? So she's really working up her arousal because women like that slow, slow arousal. They don't want you to go right there, even though a guy is thinking that's what I would want, so he does, a woman doesn't feel that way. The second is where do you focus, okay? So what's most important if you wanna be good at giving oral sex to a woman is to understand her anatomy. Where is the clitoris? Where is the urethra? can't tell you how many people, even women, don't know where their clitoris is. Now that is the hot spot, full of as many nerve endings as your lips, or more actually, and high sensation, key to a woman's orgasm. Once again, you don't wanna just focus right there on the clitoris because it's highly sensitive. You wanna visit it, stimulate it, then move around to the labia, the inner lips, right? And you can experiment with different kinds of stimulation. You can gently suck. You can move your tongue around. You can sp spell the alphabet with your tongue. You can give her little written messages on her genitals and see if she can figure it out, if she can keep her head on straight from all the pleasure you're giving her. But the main thing is to take your time and to understand that it takes the average woman 15 to 20 minutes to reach orgasm. It takes the average men about seven minutes to reach orgasm. So the biggest issue that I see in oral sex, especially if you want her to have an orgasm with oral sex, is that you have to be patient and it can be tiring. So it doesn't mean that you have to stay right there the whole time. You can move away, you can use your hands, you can use a vibrator, then go back with your mouth, you know, if she wants to have an orgasm with oral sex. If you're just doing it as part of foreplay and she's gonna have an orgasm later, you know, then it may not take as long, but you do need to be patient and make sure she knows that you're being patient because the biggest issue I hear from women around receiving oral sex is that it's really hard to just lay there and receive and not feel like, oh, I'm taking too long or he's not enjoying this or she's, you know, getting bored or whatever it is. So it's really important to reassure your partner that you're enjoying it 
and that you're patient and that you're not in any hurry. And that will really move her along the arousal process. You can also use your fingers while you're performing oral sex. So you can focus on her clitoris and then stimulate her G-spot at the same time, right? And that's uh, on about a third of the way into the vagina on the belly button side and you reach it by doing a come here motion, right? So if you're doing this inside her vagina at the same time, you're orally stimulating her clitoris and also around the urethra, which is right below the clitoris, all of that area, the inner labia are all super rich in nerve endings. The main thing is to take your time, be patient and have fun, explore, move the stimulation around. So if something is working and she's really into it, you know, read her body, okay? Don't just stay in that one place. You can stay there for a while, but maybe move away once she eases off body language wise, letting you know, um, you know, that the, that the stimulation is getting a little intense because repetitive stimulation can get a little intense and have fun with it. Spell the alphabet with your tongue, blow away, use your fingers, use toys, use your mouth, have fun and enjoy performing oral sex on a woman. Did you enjoy what you've just seen? Well, hit like and subscribe to get more Dr. Laura Berman content every week.